Hi, y'all. It's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings once again. We had horrible, horrible snow and wind and sleet and all kinds of stuff last night. So we're covered in ice this morning. Anyway, hope y'all are all doing well, being safe, and uh, let's do a project. This is uh, my little prototype or my uh, my sample and um, it's a it's made out of book pages and it's folded like this with three little pockets I didn't decorate inside very much because I did put some decorating out here on the outsides of these and that adds enough thickness so this is what you're gonna see in our book now this is just a little decorated paper clip. I used some beads and some charms and embroidery thread. I sell these in my store online. So if you like them, check them out. See if you can find something that you like. And let's make this little, I don't even really know what to call it. It's kind of like an envelope, but not really, but we're going to make it anyway. Alright. So I have all my stuff. I decided I would do this one in blue. Just because I don't do blue very much. Blue is not really one of my favorite colors. But sometimes it just. It just. Pops. So we're going to do this one in blue. What we do. We're going to start out. We need three. Pieces. Of book page and that book page the print that you're going to use needs to be at least seven inches long so we're gonna tear this off I'm gonna try to do them all at the same time and we will see how that works using my handy dandy little tearing ruler I'm just cutting off where the words are. That's going to kind of be our border. Well, goodness, I still didn't get them all. But that's okay. I've learned not to move my ruler until I'm sure I'm done. We'll cut those off. Turn it around this way. And the last one. Okay, there we go. Got all those done. Let me put these back in my... I have this little sack back here. I put all of my old pieces in because of course I'm going to use them for something else and what in the world have I done I have glued my scissors together okay I keep these little these are just some little cheapo scissors that have a little deckled edge and I use these gosh I've had these forever just to kind of cut off these little nubbins that didn't tear quite evenly. And it blends in with the tear of the ruler. So you can't really tell. And we have three pages. And our pages are just a little over seven inches in length. Almost seven and a quarter. Close enough that I'd call it seven and a quarter. Now... We've got to decide which we're going to turn this one over and use this because our pages are going to fold up and it won't matter that this is blank, but then all of the rest of it is covered with words, which is what we want. So we're going to take these, like I said, they're seven inches, 
and we are going to pull this pocket up. Well, first of all, let's cut them because I want to use this handy dandy little border punch and we can punch them all at the same time. At the bottom, we're going to put them in our, our uh, punch and cut, cut them all at the same time. This paper is old, so it's kind of um, thin, so it will let me do all three of them at once. As soon as I can get it lined up. So now we have all of these at the bottom. The one we're going to use on the top, we also need to cut or trim this with the border punch at the top as well. And I will show you why we do it that way in just a minute. Okay. So let's take our little paper here. Put all the nubbins in the trash. And we're through with that ruler for a while. So let's get all of our stuff again. Now, we know that one is going to be our first page. This is going to be our flap that's going to fold down and our flap that would fold up. So we're going to start with these two. We have our paper. Like I said, it's, it's a little less than seven and a quarter now, but we want to fold this up to about five inches. Okay, so we're going to fold that one at five inches. And we're going to fold this one up to about five inches. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, but close because you want your pockets to all be the same. Take this one and we're going to pull this one up to about five inches as well. Now then, before we get started on anything, we're going to ink around these because we're going to glue them together and it's easier to glue them or to ink them before they're glued. So we're just going to get our ink here. And it doesn't matter which one we start with. Now, I do want... I must have got carried away with the glue last night. To cover these all the way down our border so that you see all of the holes from the border punch are are inked then we'll just regular ink on the rest lay this one down it doesn't have to really be on the inside but it just makes it look a little better and a little fini more finished to me if they're inked on both sides. So, okay. over and we're going to do our crease. Okay, got one done. Actually, I think, nope. Okay, we're doing it right. Need to come up with a, 
a little ink em up song so I have something to do and sing while I'm inking. Let's do the inside of this one. Turn it over and do this one. Ink the outside. And we are inking the back, not um, not necessarily because we're not going to glue it down. You certainly could glue it down, but because our pockets are going to fold up, and we're going to have uh, we're going to be able to see what's on the back. So let's do this last one here. Side. Like I said, you don't really have to do the inside, but to me it looks a little more finished. So, ink and ink. Come around here and ink. And do our crease at the bottom. All righty, so we have that all inked up. Now then we're going to glue them together. This one we decided would be in the middle, so I'm going to put this one right here. We're going to start with the first one, forgot, and we're going to put it on here. And about, let's get our glue and go ahead and glue our pockets down. We are only, oops, that got a little carried away. Yes, that's why I have certain clothes that I do crafts in. Um, because I'm constantly wiping my fingers on my clothes. And, you know, when you have nice clothes, you don't want to do that. But I just can't seem to not do it so I just wear old clothes so let's go ahead and do this one so we don't forget that it's not done all right pat that down now where this is on the front we're going to glue that far on the back now these sheets are a little thin are thin so you can see through them, so you can see where you're going. So I just go down the edge, all the way around. And then we're going to put this right here at the top. There we go. Glue it down. Try to make sure it's straight which is a big chore for me. Turn it over. We're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to put this one on the third one. Okay. Now then. We have a little piece that looks like this. Now we're going to take where this meets and fold this up. Take this one and fold it up. Crease it really good. Take this one and fold it down and there we have our little envelope okay we 
we need to go back and do our creases here so that we all look the same. Down there. There we go. You can do these if you want to. Let's go ahead and do it. Since everything else is, is inked, let's go ahead and do that one as well. All right, so we're done with that for a minute. Now then, this is our this is our envelope. Not a problem. We're right on track here. And then we have these little pieces that I went ahead and cut for our text, and they'll fit down in here. And they will just fit. So what we're going to do on these, this is cardstock, so it is a little thicker, but we're going to get our, our border punch again and put the border on these little cards as well. I do them one at a time because this cardstock is a little thicker. I can't do all of them at once. So we'll have to do them one at a time. But that's okay. It doesn't take very long. Feels like my punch is getting stuck a little bit. Now this little punch, in case you've not ever used one of these, this has some little marks down here on the side so that you can determine where the middle is. So make sure that you have the same number of marks on this side that you do on this side, or thereabouts, and punch. And then you'll see that there are some designs painted kind of on here in silver. So we're going to line this up and put our dots on this one right over that silver painted one and punch and it comes out even. Come over to the other side, line it up. Well, it's because I'm trying to put the wrong dot in the wrong spot. All right, so there we go. Take our little paper and dump our nubbins. And we have three little cards. Now, what we're going to do, we don't need that for the moment, is once again, we're going to use our ink here. and do the same thing we did before on our pages. We're going to color this in dark. Go around the edges. Let's, uh, just for grins, let's go ahead and round the bottom of our tags. Um, it seems to make the little tags slide a little better down into the pocket. And so we'll cover that up. Go around the edges. Turn it over. Do the same thing. I don't care about the swirls because we're going to go back in in a minute and cover that up. Okay, and there's our little journaling card. The bad thing about these little, I love these little um, daubers, toppers things, but they're foam and over time they kind of begin to wear out and they shed and I get little pieces on there and then when I lay my paper down I get these little nubbins 
So that's my complaint for the day. But you see, I still use it because I love these daubers. Okay, we're going to go around and around. Lay it down. These little tags are just plain cardstock, no big deal. Go ahead. And I never do them the same way twice, so that just goes to show that we can be quite versatile. Now then we have our um, cards inked and I have these little brushes these oh they're they're so cool they're like millions and millions of little hairs on there and this is really great to blend we're gonna take our ink same ink but we want it light and we're just gonna blend lightly and all over until you get it like you want it but i do do want it to be lighter than the border so that it shows whoops so you can see that and it kind of makes it look like clouds and the little pieces in here you don't notice so we're going to do this on each one of our little little cards. You can put journaling paper on them. You can leave them blank. You can do whatever you want to with them. I just think that they're really kind of cool because they look like clouds. So I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to put anything on the journaling card per se. But we'll decorate the envelope part or the tag part or whatever we want to call this and blend so that it looks like you want it to look and I don't want it to look solid I want it to look cloudy so sometimes I make a little oops like that one there but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. There's two. And you just ink to your heart's content. Now, I made just three pockets on here. You could do four or five, however many you want. Just keep in mind that when it's folded up, each one of those layers is going to be an extra layer. Each one of those pockets is going to be an extra layer. And that's going to add some bulk to your junk journal. And so we try to keep them, you know, as flat and thin as we can. So that we don't have a lot of a lot of bulk there. All right, so we're going to use those. We're going to put decide which is our better side. We're going to put one in here. I have a hard time getting those down in there even. And we have one here. And if the cards go up too close you can cut just a sliver off of the bottom whatever's needed 
and then they will fit in there like that. Very cool. Take our little dauber thing, just in, we don't even have to have more ink on it. Just kind of kick back that bright white. To me, is it's just like a spotlight or something on there. Just kind of kick that back a little bit. You don't have to put any more ink on it. You don't want a lot of ink on it. You just want it to have a little tint. Just a slight tint. Okay. Whoops. That one may have to be cut off just a tad. There we go. And we're going to fold this down. So, what we're going to do is because we are going to, we're not going to do anything with the inside because the inside is pretty much the way we want it. You could put, we could put some little stamps in there. Um, I have some little flower stamps. Let's see if I have some blue ones. Oh, cool, right there. We could do that and put one there. And of course, I don't have, well, that's a different one. Let's put that one in the middle and put this one right here. And that gives us a little bit of stuff going on in here. So let's um, ink the edges of these. You want to add just a little bit of more antiquing, a little different, to make it look a little different. We can then go back and do the edges with some brown so it kind of makes it, makes it look dirty. And it's not dirty, but it makes it look dirty and old. And then we'll put this one right there. This one. Do a little brown around the edges. We got these little stamps, I think, from um, Edith. Miss E at Scrapbooking with Me. And they are awesome. I think they're, uh, I think they have some this size, and then I think they have some that are a little smaller. And they're so nice and handy to have when you just need a little something to go in a corner, do a little brown. Our blue. We'll put that one right there. And then we could get a little piece of washi tape. That's pretty. And not really do much, just a little strip here. This, these little places to me look a little. And I put a little glue on the back just because washi tape can. Just put a little piece right there. There. Another little piece in the center. And that just kind of 
gives your eye something to look at. Let's make this one straight. There we go. We could even put one up here at the top if we'd like make make it a little longer. Cause that looks a little naked up there. Okay. Is that gonna be too long? That'll be perfect. And we are going to put just a little bit. And we'll make this one straight too. Or straight in my world, which isn't always straight in the other world. All right, so that kind of dressed that up just a little bit. We could put rhinestones or something in here, but I kind of like just having this, the simplicity. So let's look at decorating out here. We need to knock this back just a little bit. And we're going to do a little snippet. I have a little piece here of old music paper. So we'll use this. And I'm not going to ink around the edges of this. Well, I guess I could try. But this paper is so old and so crinkly that it does just kind of tend to fall apart. So you have to be really, really careful with it. Be gentle. Let's put some glue on the back of it. That's a piece of glue that I glued my scissors to. That's what my scissors were glued to. And put this one up here. Make sure you get it going the right direction. And sometimes when I, I play the clarinet and band, and I always play just good enough to like be in the band. And so I didn't use a lot of these black notes. So sometimes I have a hard time telling whether the music is right side up or right side down. But this one has little numbers on it, and I can tell whether the numbers are right side up or down. So we have a little piece of that. Um, I have all of these precious little doilies over here. And let's see. Just kind of, that could be actually a little bigger. I don't know that I like that. Now that one's cool. That one's really cool. Do I have two of them? Probably not. Um, so this one's kind of similar. Let's see, what about that one? That one's almost too big. Okay, let's see in my, my little nubbin drawer here. If I might have another one like that, or maybe something that would work better. That's kind of pretty. I don't know. Oh, I kind of like that. That's kind of pretty. Well, we could use this on the other one. All right. So let's do that. They don't have to be exact. Let's do... A little bit of inking, like I said, that stark white just sometimes kind of throws me for a loop sometimes. It's just not. Oh, we forgot this leaf. This leaf needs to match. We don't want them to not fit. Now let's get our fabric fix because this is a silicone type glue and it's really strong and it works 
best with fabric. It can glue fabric to fabric, it can glue fabric to paper, it can glue paper to paper too, but anytime I'm using any kind of fabric or lace or whatever, I try to use this um, because it's so strong and it does hold a lot better. going to turn it around because I got it going the wrong direction, didn't I? That's okay. Put that on there. Try to center it up a little better than that. And then I have these little words. Live, laugh, and love. So we're going to put some little words on here and we're going to ink these in brown because we want them to kind of stand out a little bit and since everything else is blue we're going to make these little words brown okay so we have uh, live. Isn't that cute? Okay. And I'm going to call that one done. We're going to fold this one up. Let's put just a little bit more nubbing on here. Just because, like I said, that stark white just stands out to me. So we're going to kick it back just a little bit. So we're going to fold Let's put a little piece of glue on, on you because we don't want you flapping in the breeze. Just a little piece right there. Okay. Fold this one up. Now then we need another piece of paper. I don't want it to be, since our doilies are going to be different, I don't want to use the same kind of paper so I like when the texts are a little different so let's see surely we have something in here that is not music paper there's another little piece of dictionary page and that works really well Fold this back up. Now then, um, oh, there's a poke bonnet. So let's use that. Mm, that may be too big. Let me see. Just kind of tear it a little bit. We'll leave that side because, awesome, very cute, very cute. All right, where'd my brown go? There it is. I'm going to ink around the edge of this. Just a little bit, just to kind of give it some definition. Even though the, t the text fonts and things like that are different, um, We still want them to know, people to know that they're different, that it's a different item. So we're going to do this one. And put that right across that seam. So it does kind of help cover that seam up a little bit. We'll take our, this is our front. I don't want this one to be quite as dark as the other one, so. Alrighty, back to our fabric fix. We're going to put in
Okay, so we have live. Next, we have laugh. So we're going to do laugh. for ink and brown. Get our glitter glue. Right down. Let's put this one up here in this corner. Live. Laugh. Fold this over. This is going to show, but that's okay. We can put a little something down here even. Um, a little flower, a little bead, or something. We'll work on that. Now, on this one, I had these little pink hearts, which worked perfectly since I had pink. But I only have pink hearts, and I don't think that'll work on here. But I found this awesome butterfly. And so I decided we would use him. Now these little pearls may become a problem. If they are, we can take them off. But we don't want to glue it together because then we won't be able to open our envelope. So we've got to put the glue and just put the butterfly on this part. So. We're going to put this down. And put it right there. Hold it down. And then we can decide. We don't want to glue the bottom. As you can see, he hangs off the edge just a little bit. We don't want to glue that. But we do want his wings to stay down. So we'll put just a little bit of glue on that. On both sides, just on the bottom wing. To hold that down. We have the inside decorated. This paper is kind of tearing right here. So we may have to put some of our washi tape. What could I do with our washi tape? Where, oh, where did the washi tape go? Because I want it to all match. Does anybody see it laying around here? It can't have gone far. There it is. And so let's take this and ever so slightly let's pull that up. That's the good thing about Fabrifix. It does give you a few minutes to make a mistake. So we're going to put some glue right here and put this about halfway. Come on, cooperate. Okay, about halfway, give or take. Glue that on. And we'll turn it over. Of course, it isn't straight, but okay. Put a little bit there. Fold this over. And it'll add a little strength to that, that little part there that's trying to, to tear apart. So we want it to be as strong as we can. Okay, so that'll help hide that just a little bit. Let's get our scissors. Let's do our 
nubbin scissors since we nubbing, nub, cut it with nubbings to begin with. Throw those away. And that is so much better. We could even come back and put a little piece right there if we need to. But I think for right now we'll be fine. Fold that up. Fold that up. Fold that down. And let's get us a little dangle. Now, I think these lighter ones might work a little better. I have a blue, darker blue. That's pretty. It's got a, a mermaid scale on it. So we can put this on here. You can put any of them on here. Put it right there. Let it hang down. We have our little mermaid button, our mermaid scale. And we need our love. World can't exist without love. And we'll put this. Ink it. I'm going to put some glue on it. I think we're going to put it right there. You know, that's where our laugh is, so it needs to be up there. Maybe right there. Just under the edge of our butterfly wing. There we go. And there we're finished. And then you could either paper clip this in to your page. You could glue this in in the center of your page. Say here's your page. And glue it in and then open it up and it be still. Uh, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do for your journal. So, there we go. I'm going to put the pink one in my book. The one that was our protocol. Or prototype, I guess, not protocol. Anyway, and then I think in my store, these little projects that I make, because I always make one first to make sure I can make it. <laughs> and then um, I do one with y'all. So, I think that I may put these um, up for sale on my online store. So watch for those. Check out my online store at pinkdragonflywingswithaz.com and see all of the fun and exciting things we have there. And uh, hopefully you'll find something you like. And I'll have a section just for YouTube projects, sales. And so the ones that I make, I'll put in that little, that little, uh, under that tab. So, okay, there we go. Beautiful little ephemera for your junk journal. And there we go. All right. Take care. Stay warm. Be safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.